Suki, where are you? <laughs> Thanks, Matcha. <laughs> you guys are really good helpers with cleaning, huh? Yeah, and we got the other one over there. Ooh, I don't even know what she's doing. Oh, what are you chewing on? Oh, that's an old pee. Ugh. I find them everywhere, even after I vacuum. Guys, <laughs> you're not helping me. Hi guys! Um, it's been a while. I haven't made a studio vlog in quite some time. But I figured it'd be fun to work on another one again. Um, I had to miss out on my last event, uh, VACACON, which was a one day event in Vacaville, California. And I, the reason I missed it, if you don't already know, is I got COVID and that was not fun. Um, which surprised me because I was like a hermit for a couple days, like prepping for this event. And somehow I got it, no idea how, but I'm gonna question it. But um, yeah, that, that stunk. I, missed out and I mean it hurt me financially big time uh <laughs> I actually really suffered financially from it because I was using hoping that event would help me. Oh <laughs> Okay we're back. I got Macho with me because he was a little rowdy and I think you wanted some attention. So you're gonna hang out with mom, is that okay? <laughs> Hello again, if you don't know who I am, I am Ariel of Ariel Stromic Art, and you're here in my little studio, in the corner of my living room. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I made a studio vlog, so I thought I'd bring you along and just share what I've been making while I've been recovering. And, you know, yeah. I've done a lot surprisingly uh, when you're trapped inside kind of quarantining yourself and you start feeling better you do a lot um, I have disinfected as much as I possibly could I made sure to leave stuff alone for a few days and yeah uh, well, to be fair some of the stuff I did uh, I've done I did before I got COVID at least before I knew I had it <sighs> but there won't be like for sale or anything, not until like the end of May. So I think we'll be good. Anyways, let's get the vlog started. So if you go on my description below, there is a link to a website and this is what it looks like. It is an easy to navigate web website and it was custom designed um, per my instructions and they worked with me and it was fantastic and I love that I can see my logo. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. But oh my God. So if you scroll through this website, you will find a selection of items that I chose that I thought you guys might enjoy, which will be of course stickers because I am an avid sticker addict. You will find custom patches because I know some of you out there really dig the patches. You have custom enamel pins, which looks fantastic if you haven't, if you saw already. And you have custom cups and custom mugs because as some, I've tried before doing custom mugs and I don't have the tools. I had to outsource with my own and <laughs> to make mugs. But if you're interested, USPP will make them for you. So uh, go to the link below and try them out. I highly recommend their goods. Their quality seems amazing. Their customer service was fantastic. The people who worked with me were phenomenal and I'm so glad they reached out to me. So please check them out. Anyways, let's continue on with the vlog.
part. This is the end of my studio vlog. Um, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I didn't expect to make a studio vlog, um, honestly, at all for a while. I wasn't sure if I should anymore just because I didn't know how I felt about it. But, you know, you don't have to have a fancy studio to really make one. As long as you have a workspace. Any workspace. It could be your couch, your chair, or a random chair, sitting outside, or a desk. <laughs> That's our studio. Something about being an artist is your studio is pretty much anywhere you want it to be. <laughs> so, if you made it this far in my studio vlog, thank you very much for watching. And I'm pretty sure I just said that. <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to finish editing this video you're watching and um, work on putting some new stuff up on Etsy. I have a few, just a few new things I need to add, which I actually have here I wanted to share really quick. I have my Sakura Cola sticker, which I really enjoyed making. <laughs> my favorite part is adding the little Sakura branch right there with the blooming flowers. Um, was my favorite part to draw, but this um, is based off a real drink. I've had Sakura Cola before. It is like just a weird soda that I got from a Japanese market somewhere in Sacramento. It was called Oto's Marketplace, um, and I missed having it. So out of the want to have this during spring, I made a sticker of it. So this will be up in my shop, as well as this sticker, the poop potion. <laughs> Yes, this is iced coffee. Um, the dark secret of iced coffee or any ca or caffeinated beverage usually is it makes you go number two. <laughs> now, I have heard that some people don't and uh, you guys have stomachs of steel, but I know a lot of people tend to do number two afterwards. <laughs> I know it could be TMI for some people, but this is just the harsh reality of it. And this is a sticker I made in honor of it. And I made it so that like milk was seeping in because I know not everyone drinks iced coffee with milk. So I kind of gave Ode, like a little uh, huzzah to both ice or milk and not milk coffee. I like this one. <laughs> if you saw on Instagram, I made a little worm and so I decided to make him a sticker too. Now, I actually want to make him an enamel pin but I need to change the design up to make that work. But this is my little gardening worm and he sprung up from a dream I had and it was, I don't know, the most vivid dream ever of this little worm next to a little pond. <laughs> I knew exactly what to draw. I knew exactly what I wanted. It was the most like precise drawing I've ever made. So I hope you guys like him. <laughs> But yeah, these are the three stickers that will be added to my shop for my little update. Here you go. <laughs> I'm excited to share it with you guys. And they'll also be at, uh, available at Powerhouse Comic Con coming up. And that is May 20th. Um, I haven't got any news on what my table placement is yet. But if you want to attend, it is in Pleasanton, California. Um, May, I said it already, didn't I? May 20th. <laughs> And of course I'll be doing a artist alley vlog about it because I know you guys really enjoy those. And so I do my best to vlog at any convention, including one day conventions. So if you're interested in another artist alley vlog, that'll be coming up not long after that event. <laughs> so that's all I have to share for today. Today, that's all I have to share for the week. I cannot talk right now. I'm still... <laughs> halfway through my coffee. Not even halfway, maybe I've only drank like this much of my coffee, so. No, you can't have any. This is why I have a cup with a little lid <laughs> because of these guys. <laughs> no coffee for you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all again for watching. We'll see you guys another time. Bye.